wait to be recognized to get to as many as we can in the time allotted. Okay, questions? Yes, sir. Serena, what, what are the emotions? Obviously, a difficult night for you. I wonder if you could just talk about how you're feeling. Um, I don't know how I'm feeling yet. I haven't had time to really process everything, but um, I'm just trying, like I said out there, to stay positive and to, you know, look at all the bright things and all the good things and, uh, and just keep going forward with that. Serena, how did motherhood influence how you comforted Naomi today? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I felt at one point I felt bad because I'm crying and she's crying and, you know, she just won and she, they, I'm not sure if they were happy tears or they were just sad tears because of the moment. And, you know, I felt like, wow, this isn't how I felt when I won my first Grand Slam. So um, I was like, well, I definitely don't want her to feel like that. So. Um, yeah, maybe it was the mom in me that was like, listen, we, we got to pull ourselves together here. Uh, you were very graceful at the end to not mention all what happened before, but uh, Patrick Muratoglu said uh, that he gave you some sort of advice uh, when uh, you got the warning for coaching. Mm -hmm. So did you understand that? Uh, you didn't realize? What went through? So I don't know. I li I, I literally just heard that too, <laughs> that they pre pre prepped me to come in, yeah. and I just texted Patrick like, "What is he talking about? Because we don't have signals. We've never discussed signals. I don't even call for on court coaching. So I'm trying to figure out why he would say that. I don't understand. I mean, maybe he said you can do it, but I was on the far other end, so I'm not sure. I want to clarify myself what what he's talking about. The empire had to give you the coaching. Excuse board. me? The empire had to give you the No, because I was no, I wasn't being coached. Oh. If I look at my box and they say come on or good job, then and I don't know I don't know what else to do. At that point after that I didn't even look at my box anymore. <coughs> Uh, Serena, we, we all, I know you talk about as a mother these teachable moments. When Alexis is old enough, how will you explain to her what happened out there tonight? Um, honestly, I don't think, I don't know if she'll bring it up, to be honest with you. <laughs> Is she going to be like, Mom, what happened in 20, 2018 U.S. Open? I'm mean, like, first of all, I'm going to have to think, okay, 2018, which one was that one? She'll see it somewhere along the way. Mm -hmm. She'll see videos of it. Yeah. And, and, and what will you say to her as to how maybe you could have handled it differently? Or well, they could I'll have? tell her, first of all, that, you know, if she sees it, that, you know, I stood up for what I believed in. I stood up for what was right. And, you know, sometimes things in life doesn't happen the way we want them, but to always stay gracious and to stay humble. And that's the lesson I think we can all learn from this, just like I did. Serena, have you, have you had any previous history with Carlos Ramos in the chair before? No, not at all. He's always been a great umpire. Um, Serena, you mentioned uh, how at this tournament something always comes up, seems to come up. When that was happening out there, were you flashing back to 2009? Was it just kind of bringing up more things and just piling on? <coughs> um, I think, yeah, I think that's hard for me, you know, I, and I think it's just... Um, Instantly, I just like, oh gosh, you know, I don't want to go back to 2004. Forget 2009, you know. It started way back then, so it's always, you know, something. But that's also kind of like this game mentally that you have to play with because it's, it, you know, sometimes it might seem one, it might seem like things always happen, but I don't know the word I'm looking for. But um, you just kind of have to like try to realize that it. Coincidence, maybe it's coincidence. So, um. um, Serena, under the the rules, <coughs> all three violations issued by by Carlos were correct. So, why do you believe that he was a thief? Because he he took a point from me, and after he alleged that I was cheating and I wasn't cheating, and then I had a good conversation with him, and I said, listen. 
you know my character. You know me really well. Like, you know that I don't even call for on-court coach. I don't even do that. And he's like, you know what? I understand. He's like, you're, you're, I don't know if he said you're right, but he understood. He's like, yeah, I get what you're saying. And then when I sat down, I said it again. I was like, just to be clear, I can understand what you saw because it may have looked, because because I look at my box, it may have looked like I was getting coaching, but I'm telling you, that's not what I do. And I said, I'd rather lose than have to cheat to win. I don't need to cheat to win. I've won enough, and I've nev that's never been something I've ever done, you know? So, and he was cool. He was like, oh, I get it. And, and we had this, this great exchange, and we were on the same page, and we understood each other, and, and I felt that that was, yeah. Serena, do you think the chair umpire played any part in the outcome of tonight's match? I think that's a really good question. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't. I feel like she was playing really well, but I feel like um, I really need to do a lot to change in that match to try to come out front and to try to come out on top. Um, and it's hard to say because I always fight to the end and I always try to come back no matter what. But she was also playing really, really well. So um, it's hard to to say that I wouldn't have got a new level because I've done it so many times in my um, career. So this is a tough question. What do you think the policy should be on coaching during a match? I don't use it. I don't use on-court coaching. I understand they're using it in, um, in qualifying here. They tried it out in qualifying here. Um, would I use it? I, I don't know. I, I like One thing I love about tennis is being out there and it's the one time I don't want to hear anyone tell me anything and you have to figure out, you have to problem solve. And honestly, I feel like it's helped me a lot in my life. You know, a lot of things that I go through in my life personally and also in business, you have to be able to problem solve. And one thing about tennis, I feel like sometimes when I'm out there, I have a split second, a nanosecond to make a decision that could change the whole <coughs> match and the whole tournament. Um, and I've really applied that into a lot of things into my life. And that's my moment of, I know it sounds weird, but it's like my moment of peace when I'm out on the court where I don't hear anyone and I don't need it and I just try to problem solve on myself. So I don't know if I would use it if it was brought out in the future. I currently don't use it, so I don't know. Okay, two ladies first, one and one, two. Serena, what do you think uh, Osaka did well uh, t today to get this win over you? Was there something in a game that maybe you weren't expecting? or? Well, I feel like she she was really, really consistent. She really, I think her game is always super consistent. I felt like she played really well. Like I said, she um, she made a lot of shots and um, she was so focused. And I think, you know, and whenever at a break point, she had came up with some great serve. And honestly, there's a lot I can learn from her from this match. And I hope to, I hope to learn a lot from that. Obviously, it's her first Grand Slam title. Do you think it's a shame kind of that all this happened, the drama happened around her with all the booing and everything from the crowd. You know, it's, it's a very difficult thing, isn't it, for her to go through as well in that situation? That's what I said. I, that's why I was like, I don't want to answer the questions. This is her moment. And like, stop booing because <laughs> she doesn't deserve that. I don't deserve it. The people on the on the tennis court didn't deserve it. They were all here to see tennis and she played an amazing match and she deserved the credit and she deserved to win. And at the end of the day, that's what it was. We can never really go back, Serena, but if you could change one thing about what occurred, uh, what would that be? Um, I don't know. I don't, you definitely can't go back in time, but I can't sit here and say I wouldn't say he's a thief because he, I thought he took a game from me. But I've seen other men call other umpires several things. And I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality and for all kinds of stuff. And for me to say thief and for him to take a game, it made me feel like it was a sexist remark. I mean, like, how uh, he's never took a game from a man because they said thief. <laughs> for me, it blows my mind. But I'm going to continue... To, to fight for women and to fight for us to have equal, like Courtney should be able to take her shirt off without getting a fine. Like this is outrageous, you know? And I just feel like the fact that I have to go through this is just an example for the next person 
that has emotions and that want to express themselves and they want to be a strong woman. And they're going to be allowed to do that because of today. Maybe it didn't work out for me, but it's going to work out for the next person. Thank you, everybody. Oh, no, no, no.